All right, it's a new day. Let's recap what we were doing on this Lenovo because right now we have to finalize this job with a success or not. Okay, so we reball the chip. It still had no success. We believe we still have a short and a 5 volt rail. Which we're going to look at. See if anything can be done on that. Okay. So I suspected something wrong with my charger, which I'm not sure. We got two DC jacks, so charger is out of the question. That's being the faulty. We have 20 volts. It's not charging the battery either. It is a mystery at the moment. Okay. Let's check resistance again. If I remember, we were looking at a component or a coil, which was lower than expected resistance. I think it was hmm, Hmm, he's dead. He's gone. Okay. I wonder if whatever we replaced died again. Okay. After attempting to turn it on. PU3 now has zero ohms. Let's see why. So there's a short on that side now. Let's bring the short killer. Yeah, I'll need to make a room for him. It's going to be a permanent resident here, by the looks of it. One of the most used tools.
Okay, here we go. And we're going to do 0 0.8. Nothing, zero point nine, nothing, one volt, try one point two, and the one point one. Okay, has the resistance changed? Let me double check. Five ohms. Five ohms. Okay, let me check that. Which coil was it? Looks like PL8. Okay, PL8. Before we inject further, let's go back here. PL8 PL3 PL7 PL9 PL7 PL8, 5 volt AUX. Okay, 5 volt, okay. Okay, here we go. One point two, nothing, one point four, nothing, one point five, nothing, one point six, nothing. Okay, fuck. There we go. That's why. <sighs> Another problem. Yeah, okay. Queensland man. It's sending me dead units. All these efforts for nothing. Okay. Hmm, my fate, okay. Another dead end. I cannot believe it. After all that work. I'm still satisfied that there is a closing. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.